guys welcome back to my channel today this um, look is going to be brought to you by the meat matrimony palette by the bomb I'm going to first go and use Matt Lopez and I'm going to be adding this into the transition area of my eye using a big fluffy blending brush this one is from real techniques and this is one of my favorite blending brushes for the transition area Next up, I'm going to be using Matte Lin, and I'm going to be applying this all over my lid. This is a nice, pretty, sort of like um, a muted pinky color, and I just love how it just brings dimension to the eye. Next, I'm going to be using Matte Kumar. And I'm going to be applying this into the crease area. I'm not going to be applying all the way in. I'm only going to bring it from the outward uh, portion of my eye to the midway point. Just to deepen it and to bring some depth into this eye look. Okay, now I'm taking a clean blending brush. This is more of a, a denser blending brush. And I'm just going to um, blend in the Matte Kumar into the Matte Lopez. We don't want any harsh lines, ladies. All right, next here I'm using the Lash Domination Eyeliner Pen from Bare Minerals, and I'm just gonna be doing a sort of dramatic slash not dramatic cat eye. I'm not going to be lining it all the way into the tear duct area. I'm gonna stop probably like a, a fourth, well, fourth way in, just to, you know, just to have a different look, And now. Here I'm going to be using the Milani foundation. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. <laughs> so we come to we ain't gonna waste no products. Sarah. Okay ladies, the thing about doing foundations, always use most of the product on the inside parts of your face because you don't want to have like a whole bunch of makeup going on the outside. You want to make your the middle part of your face stand out a lot more. So draw more of the product into the center and then work its way out. This also helps to make it look like more of a flawless application look when it comes to liquid foundations. Okay, so now I'm going right back into the palette and I'm going to be using Matte Melskowitz to further deepen my eye look. Um, I liked how it was before, but I just thought it was missing something, a little bit more depth. And that's why I added this color and I love how it just brought the whole look together. Now again, I'm only going to be adding this to the outside part of the eye, putting it halfway into my um, crease because I'm just trying to deepen it. I'm not trying to make the whole thing dark. You're trying to add dimension into your eye look. And all we're doing now is just blending. We always want to blend. We don't want any dramatic lines or harsh lines. We kind of want everything to feel like it's seamlessly blending into one another, like a glorious sunset. Now it's time to highlight the center of our faces. I'm using the Full Cover um, Concealer by Makeup Forever, and this is in uh, the number 12, I believe. And I'm going to go in also with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Creamy Beige. I like to mix these two. Um, the Full Cover gives me full coverage, and then I usually use the Pro Conceal just to lighten it up a little bit because my concealer for Makeup Forever is basically the same complexion as me and again I'm going to be concentrating most of the product in the center of my face 
and then lightly blending it outward because like I said we're trying to bring focus into the center make everything look like everything is snatched honey like center snatched To set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Master Fix um, Translucent Powder by Maybelline. And I'm only using a little bit because I don't want to bake too long because I'm not the one who likes to have like the super dry under eye look. Um, I don't usually get that oily either so I don't want to have to use much as well. So yeah, I'm using a tad bit just to set it. To set the remaining parts of my face, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the color Cardamom. I'm going to be taking a fluffy you know, face brush and I'm going to be applying a little bit of the powder just to set the areas where I had my foundation. And I'm also going to blend some of the powder foundation down to my neck because you don't want any you know, line of demarcation. Here we are, we're going to be doing some contouring a little bit. Just with some powder of course and I'm just going to be using the W10 and the True Match Powder Foundation and I'm just going to be going into the hollows of my cheeks just to add you know some more color because of the foundation and the concealer it will kind of wash you out. For my lashes, I'm going to be using the Vegas Nay Glamour Lashes. These are so bomb and they add more of a dramatic look to any eye look. As always, I always go in first with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I love this mascara just because of its wand. It helps me grab onto my itty bitty baby hairs that we call bottom lashes and they make them look like I have something. Now to follow up after the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I like to go in with the Lash Domination Petite Mascara by Bare Minerals just to darken up these baby hair lashes of mine. To line my lips today, I'm going to be using the Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. Now to fill in my lips, I'm going to be using Smoked Purple by MAC as well. And this is like a deep purple shade. I love this lipstick. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. And it is matte. If you're not a matte girl, we also have Cyber, which is basically the identical color as this. It's just not matte. Alright, to highlight my face, I'm going to be using Glow Getter from the Cold Girl palette first. And then, on top of that shade, I'm going to be going over it with 143. 
thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video hope you learned something and if you're not subscribed please press that button if you liked it give a thumbs up you guys have a good one